Hey guys, this is Ajay Jagtap from UiPath, and in this video, we are going to demo an end to end interoperability test automation. Usually, an end to end cross application test automation is difficult, time consuming, and would require different tool sets for different applications involved. With UiPath Test Suite, we can build and manage the test from one place using an intuitive logic across the world. We can simply design the test in minutes and it can run repeatedly. Uh, where the values set in one application can automatically be used as a direct input in the downstream applications. The benefit of an end-to-end -end cross application test is it, it tests the way multiple users work across applications, uh, removing the extensive handover among different users. So for this cross application test scenario, we are going to run through four different applications or um, UIs. Uh, we will start with Salesforce Classic for creating an opportunity using an auto-generated synthetic test data. Then we will move to the complex SAP Fury web application to create a simple sales order. Uh, use that order number to create delivery and billing document documents in SAP WinGUI. And finally, we will conclude our test by creating a data file in AS400 through a green screen emulator. And during the end-to-end -end execution, it will also run through some verification steps that we will check out. All right, so let's jump to the UiPath Test Manager and execute the automated test script. Now I have configured my robot to execute on my desktop for the unattended automation. So it will start the execution uh, in my desktop with uh, the Salesforce Classic application. Uh, so it will do the login process and will start the uh, opportunity creation process. And as I mentioned earlier, it will use an auto-generated synthetic test data for creating the opportunity. You can also retrieve the test data from various data sources like MS Excel, flat files, uh, SQL database, or in fact, any database that we can connect through an ODBC or API connection. Once it creates the opportunity, uh, it verifies the status if it's close to one. And then uh, logs out from the system. Moving on to the next application uh, once it logs out. So now it is going to open up the SAP Fury application and we log into the system and try, we'll start to create the sales order. So it's going to enter the necessary data like Audit type, sales area, and then uh, it will enter the header information like sold to and shipped to party. And also uh, the customer reference, uh, it is going to use the same opportunity name that we created in Salesforce. It will then enter the item level info and complete the creation process. The sort of number uh, that uh, SAP generates will be parsed and used for the next application, which in this case is going to be SAP WinGUI application. So here we are going to log into the SAP WinGUI, use the order number that we just created, and it's quickly going to create a delivery and also the billing document. It will log out from the system and lastly, it will move on to create a data file 
in AS400 through a green screen emulator. Once the test is complete, uh, we will get the results back uh, into the test manager. So let's navigate back to the UiPath test manager for reviewing the test results. So uh, here it says the overall test has failed. So let's check that out. So this is the latest one that we just executed. We just go ahead and open this. So. Within the test, we had five assertions or five verification steps. Uh, the first three passed, where the first one, it successfully verified the opportunity status to be closed one. The second and the third steps also passed, where it successfully created the sales order and the delivery documents respectively. Two, however, failed, where it tried creating a billing document uh, but failed due to the uh, incorrect processing status. And then it tried to create a data file with a name which already exists in the, in the system. I drop down uh, the steps. We can also check the screen capture taken when the failure happened. Now, if I have connected an ELM tool like Jira or Azure DevOps or any other ELM tool that is there in the system, connect to my test manager and easily create a defect for the failed test case from the test manager itself. So as I hit refresh, you will see the defect number is being auto-generated from the Jira, Jira in this case. So with that, we will conclude this demo video for the end-to-end -end interoperability test automation. Thanks for joining. Have a wonderful day.